have you guys been able to develop that and how much does it help both of you being able to play off somebody like that in the two man game? Yeah, I, I absolutely love playing with uh, JB. He um I think we're 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 starting to connect more and more and it's becoming just like natural for us. And uh, yeah, and I'm I'm learning his game. I'm learning his game. I'm learning the situations he likes to be in. Uh, and and as you could see, we're we're having some success with it, you know, and it's 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 really fun. It's really fun to play with him and look forward to more of those plays. When it comes to that that connection there, um, like, what are you seeing? What what's what's been the development, and like, where have you been able to find those opportunities to really kind of break free, catch a lot of lobs, catch a lot of stuff at the rim? Mm -hmm. Honestly, it's just him making the game like easy for me. Uh, I'm just making reads off of him. If he comes off and he wants to hand up, boom, I hand it to him. I start rolling. He kind of plays that game a little bit, and then he just either finish or throw the lob. And he's he, he's making it easy for me. And um, and then yeah, and he's so explosive and so so um, quick with those back cuts and things like that. That it's also kind of natural for me to just hit him on those back cuts and, and things like that. So um, yeah, all credit to JB. Yeah, but like you even have like little behind the back flip to him yeah. flowing into a pick and roll flowing into yeah. an alley like that kind of stuff it's not just making the right read it yeah. just seems like i don't know every once in a while just like two guys on a team they just have this thing yeah no it's getting there it's not the, like i would have liked that to be a little cleaner you know it wasn't it wasn't as clean as i would have liked to but um but we're getting there, yeah. You know, some some glimpses of of, of those kind of uh, things. Of course, we don't want to go overboard and try to be fancy with the with the stuff. We just want to be effective. Um, but those kind of plays will, you know, I believe, will happen more and more. And 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 as again, it's just it's kind of natural for us to just play off of each other. Christoph, obviously, it's a long season. It's November, but you were part of a lot of moves these two teams made. How did you enjoy the energy tonight, first time you guys got together against each other and the whole atmosphere? I thought it was great. Obviously, you know, the fans were, um, the fans and everybody in the building knew that this is, a, you know, number one, number two seed playing against each other. Um, and that just adds more uh, more fuel to, to the atmosphere. And, and our friends are here in this building are incredible. Um, and, and, and yeah, the energy was there and we played hard they, they, you know, they made a good push at the end, almost made a comeback. Uh, but we, we held strong and, and, and JT knocked on those free throws at the end and we sealed the game and, and that's it. So, um, uh, but definitely, you know, a good, uh, um, good team to measure ourselves against. Chris, how have you seen Jalen work on that playmaking game? You give him credit for, you know, making the game easy for you. Mm -hmm. See him out on the court working on it a lot in film. Just what what have you kind of seen of his process at getting better at that area of his game? Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know. I mean, I, I didn't watch him or I didn't see him up close, you know, these all these years like this. Like I just know him from playing against for playing with him this season. Uh, up close and and you know I see it in his game. He has all those kind of things, the the playmaking and and he sees the lobs. He's not afraid to throw the lobs and 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 he draws a lot of attention and that opens up things for me. So um, I think yeah, I think it's just you know just as I said, it's it's pretty natural for us to have that 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 two man game and and, um, and the more time we play together, the the better our chemistry will be. He's, he's talked about the car rides you guys have had and living yeah. in the same building. Uh, getting that chance to know him as a person, like what have you kind of taken away from that? And does that help on the court, kind of having those conversations? Yeah, 100%. Uh, yeah, we sit next to each other on the plane, so we talk all the time. And and, uh, and JB, a, he's a funny guy. He's smart, intelligent, uh, funny. Um, and, uh, and yeah, we just we just click, you know, and, and that translates on the court, you know, and I think it's, as I said, I think it's only going to get better. KB, uh, under left. Going back to the atmosphere, last year, Wizards games weren't the most intense crowds, maybe. Uh, you've, just like in the last week or so, with Philly, this game, opening night, you've been through some of these kind of like huge marquee games with extreme intensity. Yeah. How has that affected you? Like, does it make you play with more juice, especially on the defensive end? I would say it does. It does. It definitely gives me extra... Um, like 
extra passion, extra. It's just natural for all of us players. We want to play, you know, in front of big crowds, great energy. Uh, for me, maybe a little bit too much because I have to, you know, relax a little bit. But, um, but um, I'm of course enjoying it, and and I can kind of compare it to my rookie year and my first few years in the league when I was playing for the Knicks. Um, playing there was also incredible, and and. Um, and uh, all the places I've been, you know, it's, it's different in each place. But, but definitely, you know, what, what stands out is, you know, New York and, and here in Boston. Um, and so far, you know, it's, it's, been a, it's been a joy to play in front of these fans and, and get so much support. Is that why you keep getting texts? Because the energy uh, of the fans? Yes. No, <laughs> no but, uh, but it's definitely, you know, it adds more to, you know, it adds more um, adds more fuel to already the passion that I have for the game and to play hard and 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 you want you, you want to make the right play for your team for your teammates and sometimes you just go a little a little bit too emotional you know so um, but uh, work in progress. Well, that's what I was going to ask. Do you feel like at this point in the season your reputation is kind of preceding you a little bit when it comes to that? What does that mean, the preceding text, me? like the refs are almost looking yeah. for you. At that no, point. I don't think so. I honestly don't think so. I always have like very, uh, how do you say, cordial uh, conversations with the refs. Um, it's just like, okay, I reacted. I didn't even say nothing. I just clapped my hands. And of course, you know, clapping hands, is, it doesn't look good, you know. And, and this is just small things that I have to be aware of and, and, and not get caught into that, you know, emotion in that moment because, you know, I cannot, uh, yeah, I just cannot keep doing this, so. And it's not the end of the world, but uh, definitely have to um, be smarter about it. And um, and, uh, and that's it. That's it. Uh, uh, again, I just I'm just enjoying playing here and, and being full of emotion and 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 and, uh, and that you know that emotion is coming out maybe a little bit. And then you called it a measuring stick. What did you learn about this group tonight? Mm. About us, yeah. Um, I think um, good question. I don't know. <laughs> um, I think we have each other's back. Um, Drew didn't have the best game. Um, we have each, we have his back, you know, and 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 you know, especially knowing that uh, that was his old team, you know, it's, it adds a little bit extra, and we wanted to win this game, and. And you know, some nights it's not gonna you know go perfect for me, and there's gonna be I don't know Drew who's gonna pick me up, or you know I think that's 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 one thing that we're developing in this team. We have a lot of talent, and we could just we have different weapons and different guys that can that can uh, play play really good in that night, and and you know pick somebody else up that's maybe not having the best night. So uh, that's like a luxury that we have. Hey, Chris Stops, you mentioned, <clears throat> excuse me, the Bucks made a run at the end of the game there. That's kind of happened in the Hornets and Grizzlies games, too. Do you feel like you guys have been taking your foot off the gas at the end of these games, and how do you avoid that? Good question. Um, I, I don't know. As a player, I don't feel like it, you know. Um, but uh, maybe we can execute a little bit better. The pressure is up. Um, you know, these teams also, they made some big shots. Like Charlotte made some big shots at the end. Dame, you know, made some things happen towards the end. So, it, you know. Against the talented teams, it can get dangerous. You know, you can hit two big shots, and 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 it can get dangerous towards the end. So, uh, we just have to stay poised, which I think we have done. Um, stay poised, execute on our end, and 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 make sure we make it as difficult as we can for the other team. And and uh, and then I believe the, you know, it will it will go in our favor. Cool. Thanks, guys.